I slept through two of my classes this week. And a quiz. Youch. So this has been one heck of a week. A real doozy. It put me through the ringer, so to speak. This week slapped me upside the head, dropped a grand piano on me, like in a cartoon, you know. Pummeled me into submission like the Hulk swinging Loki back and forth against the floor in the Avengers, if you're familiar with that cinematic achievement. And then pants me, just for good measure. Basically, I had a poop load of work to do. Pardon my French, a lot of meetings and events to attend. Sorry I'm popular, eh. and no time to sleep. Nada. Long story short, I had a rough go of it. Also, I'm gonna finish this long story, so it's not really short. Sunday night, I worked all through the night and went to sleep at 6 a.m. Early in the morning. And woke up at 8 a.m. Still early in the morning. Yep, I got two hours of sleep. But I was so amped up on adrenaline from getting so much done, as well as, you know, a pint of haagen dazs peanut butter pie ice cream, that I didn't feel tired at all on Monday. I was just skipping right along. Skippity babbity boo, let me do that. Skippity hoo, here I'll do this. How you doing? Good to see ya. Flappity doo, now I'm done. And I knew, of course, that there had to be an inevitable crash, but I felt so invincible. It just didn't seem like it was coming. Until Monday night, when I had a king's bounty's worth of work I still had to get done. However much that is. A lot, I guess. Ah, uh, how young and naive I was. Earlier this week. And I had two classes the next morning, one of which was a history class in which I had a quiz. So late Monday night, I'm sitting on my bed trying to read my textbook and study for the quiz, but my eyes are doing the old Lazy Susan. History. 1872. Thomas Edison. <sighs> Not falling asleep. I've been awake the whole time. Whatever. So I know this isn't gonna end well. Eventually, at about 4 o'clock in the morning, I realize I'm just not gonna get any more studying done if I'm zombieing my way through it. So, I decide to call it quits, and I set my alarm for 6 o'clock a.m. Even early, er, in the morning. Which would be another two hours of sleep. Somehow, I figure I can pull it off. And I don't really know what my thought process is here. Sleep is for losers. And... Humans. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Always hated that excuse. Kinda morbid. I don't need sleep. I mean, look at how exceptionally alert I am now. Barbara Streisand. Of course, my brilliant plan doesn't work out. I guess my body just can't take two nights in a row of sleeping for two hours. Can't do it, Mom. So I wake up feeling like I'm rising from an eternal, immortal slumber, and I look at the watch on my desk, and it reads 11.41 a.m. Naturally, my first reaction is, Oh, poop fart! <laughs> Again, I apologize, probably should have censored that, but... I feel it's a pretty standard reaction. I've missed both of my morning classes, including the one with the quiz. So after pacing around like the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, the comically nervous worry wart animated one, not any of the other weirder versions, for several minutes, I frantically email both of my professors these incredibly solemn, honest, potentially over-apologetic emails. Hello, professor. I hope you're well. I'm not because I missed your class. I slept through it, which I've never done before in my life, and I'm so terribly sorry, and I, I honestly have had a lot of work to do, and I just haven't been getting much sleep, and I don't like to make excuses, but I just want to be honest with you, and if you could find it anywhere in your heart to allow me to retake the quiz, I will be so, so deeply appreciative. I understand if you can't, and I'm sorry about that, um, but if you could, I would, I would really, really appreciate it. But I understand if you couldn't do it. And did I say I'm sorry? Hi, Professor. How are you? Good? Well, that's not me. I'm not. Because I foolishly slept through your class, and now I'm sitting here wallowing in my own stupidity. I'm extraordinarily sorry. Okay, those might have been a tad exaggerated, but that's pretty much what I wrote. So I'm feeling just awful the rest of the day. Like, of course I'm going to be a total failure for the rest of my life, and when I'm living in a box on the street, playing the piano with my toes, and tap dancing with my dog, while the occasional passersby flicks a coin my way, this will be the moment in my life people point to and say, that's where everything went wrong for him. But luckily, there's a happy ending to this story. I run into one of my professors on campus later in the day, and he says it's no problem at all. He understands, these things happen, and I can retake the quiz next week. I want to kiss his foot, but I feel that will be going a smidge too far. Then my other professor emails me back and says it's fine that I miss class. I can just come in on Thursday and everything will be hunky-dory. I'm paraphrasing there. I mean... What a couple of stand-up guys. Quality gents. Respectable individuals. I can't even express how grateful I am. Unless I had like a billion dollar budget for pyrotechnics and a live musical performance by ABBA. ABBA? I've never been sure. The Mamma Mia people. Mamma Mia, here I go again. That one, yeah. You know, you know. So I guess the lesson here is, never underestimate your professors. Yes, you should work hard and do the best you can in their classes, but if you mess up on something or make a mistake simply because you're a human, and that's kind of what we do, most professors will be understanding and reasonable because they are real people, despite several theories I've developed over the years. And they can find it in their hearts to be kind and sympathetic. Unless they're just evil. Or robots. Robots probably wouldn't do that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go change my alarm from... 
Two. More of a waker upper. I'll catch you later.